I decided to play one game of Exo Primal offline, thinking it wouldn't progress the story, but then it progressed the story and we lost Sandy. Sandy had her hard drive ripped out. Oh, there's <laughs> something about sailing that stirs the blood. So setting off across the blue horizon. We lost some from it all. That, it's not recorded. Was it a proper cutscene? Yes. Just a man. One with his ship. It was an actual cutscene. Can we replay it? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to find it so we can replay it. It was a big mission that gave us the achievement for surviving a combat test in the abyss. Gazing out at the South Pacific, isolated from the rest of the world with no idea when you'll see it again. The one time I decided to play one game, there's a goddamn proper cutscene in everything. Maybe... Over here. Okay, we'll do all this stuff quickly. Why the hell is she still alive? She just died in the cutscene. She literally just died in the cutscene. That does not make any sense. She just died. I promise you. She just died in a cutscene. Maybe we'll get it again. She died. She died. But perhaps this is not she the died. When the object she didn't die. die. She had her, like, her, her core ripped out and they replaced it. And she was basically a new bot. Well, Ace. She died, man. Ah, Thoris brochure. Very useful for escaping insane computer. Anything can provide a clue. A good investigator uses all his resources. How many affordable three-star hotels have you found? You'll eat those words when this ends up saving our lives. When you finish reading advertisement for already dead dinosaurs, maybe you can find some time to help with the live ones. I'm gonna find Majesty, something. I have to say, your near-death experience has not improved your people skills. Also, Majesty, Majesty was a badass in the cutscene. And our character was fucking useless as in the cutscene. He was as useless as could be in this cutscene, but Majesty... She was popping off. I have detected a minor anomaly in photographs of Bikatoa Island. Bikatoa Island. Uh, let's not get carried away. Okay, Sandy? This structure appears in the background of multiple images. Looks normal enough to me. The Twin Towers? However, the angle and distance indicate that these images were taken from the same location. Wait, wait, hold up. This is where they were digging up fossils. It says right there. Crustaceous period fossil layer. Are you sure the location's the same? Affirmative. That's not all. Remember that image of a damaged suit? We thought anchor division was... If I could find this cutscene, I don't know if I'll be able to, but... ...is an exact match. Same suit. Origin suit. I think it must be origin colon suit. Like the origin of this image is a suit. Don't be foolish. Look here. Origin suit. Anchor division reference exhibit alpha 1175. They were researching this origin suit. We, we saw it at the fossil dig site. Him and powder house. They want dope in a rig suit. They were digging one up. You're saying Ibias found a suit in the ground that had been buried for millions of years? Sandy, can you identify this building in the background? City she should be dead. It doesn't make sense why she's still talking. Power. Ibias records indicate the building was demolished in 2023 in preparation for the construction of the Stratovator. Before the exosuit program even started. Those dirty background. They didn't invent the exosuit. They found one. All Anchor did was reverse engineer it. Look at the back of it. Tell me that's not a Vortexer. They dug up suit equipped with Vortexer? How the hell did an exosuit end up in the Mesozoic era before Vortexers were invented? <sighs> Big 
because of stupid time travel. There is no before. No wonder science is obsessed with his tech. He tried to trick us into hacking into his old research when he couldn't. Hydro, the Vortexers, the Exo Fighters, these Gordon Goose. IBS is great. Golden Goose. He came from the past. And the company's entire future rests on keeping a secret. And I gave that man a decent burial. I'm of a mind to go out there and dig him right back up. <laughs> Let's do one better. Let's give him a call. Maybe we'll do the mission again. Maybe we'll do it again since I didn't keep up with the uh, the the stuff. Maybe we'll get another cutscene. You should have told us everything, sign. Origin suit, the vortex generator tech. Wait, what? Those are corporate secrets, my friend. <laughs> okay, Doc. You keep on living like that. Here it is. Way. The golden goose data stays with us. This, I think this is the cutscene. <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait for what, Dr. Okay, Sign? Wait, don't stop. This is what happened. When the island was destroyed, we lost the technology for the production of Haiza. Golden Goose. God, I hate our character. Changes the world, baby. I'm wondering the same thing, Andy. Andy. I saw this this morning. What a useless group of bums. So funny. I find, I find that jump so fucking dumb and funny. I yanked out a whole memory call. I can try to restore her from backup, but she can't do it. Majesty. I saw this cutscene this morning. But maybe it's playing again because I didn't progress the, the, the board on the right side that we were doing. So now it's just playing again. Thank you for choosing your IB-BOS Tactical Assistance AI. Sandy. Last time we played, they had a secret handshake. Because they're children. She's gone. No! Sandy's dead! No! How could this happen? No! No! Stop! We weren't ready! We're 68% on the way done. No! Stop! Sandy died! We weren't ready for that! Why would they do that? No! Not Sandy! No! Reduces rig skill cooldown time by 10%. Sure, there's a lot of things I kind of want. All these modules are kind of good. Oh, wait, that's the rig module. I don't really care about that that much. I think I'd rather have reload efficiency on you. Yeah, the evil suit dude is working with Dr. Sinus since... So, uh, story progression is Dr. Sin's plan on D15. And let's just begin matchmaking and maybe we'll, maybe we'll get another special mission. The la the thing is, I did a special mission, which then activated that cutscene. So now I'm wondering, will I get the special mission again? The special mission was actually pretty cool. It was one of those missions again where we fought a ne the, the Neo Dinosaurs. And like, we worked together, the two teams worked together to win.
His name is Sinus. S Y N E S. Sins. Sinus Sins. I don't know how to say it. But I, I knew the second you see him, you know he's evil. Second you see him, you know he's. You, you can tell this guy's an evil man, an evil doer. Wait a minute, I'm gonna make a comment on my YouTube video right now because I need to. How do I make a comment? Oh, add a comment. Would you uh... Welcome to my research facility. You produced outstanding and combat data in the previous war. There we go. Keep crushing those efficacy metrics. All right. Signs. We are we lack tanks and supports. I'll play Nimbus. I'll play Nimbus. I haven't got to play Nimbus a lot, so... We have four of the exact same... Dude, we have literally... Oh, my God. Dude, they got four tanks over there. They got three tanks over there. Yo, we have four of the same dude. Someone's got to switch, right? Oh, God, everybody switch. Oh, God, now we have a bunch of tanks. Well, I'm playing Nimbus, so... Nimbus is fun. If you guys don't know Nimbus, she's like Lucio in Overwatch. How does she roll a blade? She uses the legs like that motion. I gotta do that, but I'm too afraid I'll fall. Speed boost! Whoopsie daisies. I think she's really fun, to be honest. She has one of the most unique kits. Which isn't that unique. Because it's just like an Overwatch kit, but you know. Holy crap. Holy crap! The tier 2 for 42 months? That's the answer to the universe, Platypus. Thank you for the tier 2! For 42 months. You are completing objectives Big love in the chat for Platypus. Hope you're doing good. Proceed. Thank you for the continued support. How's work? How was writing the uh, two-week notice? I'll say Witch Doctor is probably like the best support, but I, I really like Nimbus. I've only played it for a couple games, though. Oh, we have a Witch Doctor. Well, I'm going to stay on Nimbus. There we go. Dinosaur call. You called your boss the next morning and cried. Follow the watcher. Proceed. How did your boss take it? Initiating dinosaur call. If you cried, then like, should you be leaving this job? If you're crying about leaving? People got bills, fuck them. Alright, they went up with Kami also. Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I remember when I quit my job, my boss... Or when I put my two weeks in, I was... I did the courteous thing. And put two weeks in and worked for two weeks. While they tried to get new people. My boss was like, you serious? You're leaving right now? It's like, this is really a bad time. 
And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm sorry, but like, I gotta do this thing now before I run out of time myself. That's when I was like 19. That's when I was like 20. No, I think I was 21. And I was like, yeah, I gotta just do this, man, and see what this streaming thing does. You gotta be kidding me. What? There's more steam maintenance. Of <laughs> Servers down. That's me. Ah. Oh. Wait. Hold. 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 Oh God! Come on, you. Wait, we're back. We're back, baby. Oh, man. That's so unfortunate. We were winning that game, too. We were winning that game, man. Uh -huh. All right, let's just run it back. We were winning, dude. Ah. Uh. Well. Well, at least we got into a game instantly, so that's kind of cool. Welcome to the war game. I am Lathiathan. Lathiathan. I require all exo fighters to participate in the combat tests. This is a two team competitive scenario. Those on the other side are, are the, the enemy, enemy team. team. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. The winning team will be eligible for bonus existence. Bonus existence? That human beings improve their performance through competition. Compete to win and compete to live. Compete to it. Support units. I got us. Oh, you went support. I went support. I'm playing Nimbus. I don't care. I want to play Nimbus. This suit can swap modes to dish out damage and repairs. I'm playing Nimbus. I'm the only one on Steam in this game. They got Beans 56. Beans 56 on the enemy team. Beans 56 rocking the uh, the stock character. Nimbus is tiny. She's a tiny little robot. Have a super day. A Giga Bean. Ugh. Follow the watcher. Where are they coming from? Imagine if Nimbus could wall ride. They would get sued by Blizzard. Overwatch 2 is coming to Steam August 10th, for people that don't know, by the way. If any of you are big Steam users. Of course we are. What if you already own Overwatch? Overwatch is free to play, so you probably just link your accounts and then do continue playing. Tells you how much I care about Overwatch. I mean, I'm probably never gonna stream Overwatch again on this account. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm ready to commit Burgle to be the Overwatch streamer again, along with an achievement hunter when I have free time. Assistance 
I'm helping. One of the few decent food places is a burrito place, and oh fuck, the burrito I made today is so good. Is it Burrito Boys? Burrito Bandito? Uh, right now, I haven't been able to play on Burgle because I've been making a lot of YouTube videos, but if I was to go on Burgle, I'd be playing Choo Choo Survivors and Dave the Diver for achievement hunting. Those would be my games that I'd be like, let's get all the achievements in. Burrito Boys? Eh, Burrito Boys is so fucking good. Burrito Boys is... Me and Kat loved Burrito Boys. I think they're an Ontario place only. I'm helping. I feel like Nimbus is not as good as a support as Witch Doctor is. Maybe even not as good as uh, Skywave, but they're fun. Nine hours north of Toronto. Yeah, you're in the fuck fuck middle of nowhere. Shout out Burrito Boys. Oh, Burrito Boys. So, oh man, now I want a burrito. I make some pretty good burritos at home. Because, you know, it's a lot cheaper to just make burritos at home than it is to get them made, like, ordered out. But Kat doesn't like eating them. She doesn't like my burritos. Probably because I eat them so much, and then I have, like, three meals with them, because I make a good amount of rice and beans. Cat, you want some burritos? It, like, the thing is, I buy cheap. I buy cheap. I'm a, I, I buy cheap because I, I, I'm cheap. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta be smart with the money. You know, sour cream, some guacamole, which may, uh, guacamole makes it a little bit more expensive because it's fucking guacamole. Sour cream, guacamole, white rice, beans, black beans, of course, black beans. Maybe refried one of these days. Maybe I'll try refried this time. I do like refried beans in a burrito. But I do really like black beans in a burrito as well, but... Refried beans and black beans are definitely the best type of beans. Make sure nobody gets run over by this dude. They're on the final mission. We gotta kill this fucking guy then. Oh shit, we used an ult on him. I respect it. And there's also some lettuce and cheese. I throw jalapenos and lime juice on mine, though. I like throwing lime juice on a lot of food. One of the one of my favorite things for breakfast. Get some scrambled eggs or over easy eggs, depending on how, whatever one you want. You know, get that yolk dripping or you can go scrambled. Just get a bagel, toast it, throw the eggs on the bagel, hot sauce, lime juice, chef's kiss, delicious meal. Which I know may sound a little weird, but lime juice and hot sauce on some eggs in a in between a bagel. It go, it's pretty good. Are we gonna get a dominator? Hmm? 
Nimbus can do some damage at the end if you can hit the shots. Our tank has the Dominator. I don't know how I feel about that, but... Throw me up by 10. Can't do eggs without hot sauce. It's weird having eggs without hot sauce, you know? Uh, right now, we just have Tabasco. But I, I sometimes will go all out and buy just most the most random, spiciest looking hot sauce. You might want to use that Dominator. Good luck. I messed up my ult. I messed up my ult. Oh, our dominator is already dead. Oh, we're in deep trouble now. We're probably going to lose this game. They only have two on, so maybe we can get some progress. They have one on. Oh, they have three on. They're attacking us? God damn, we got bombed by them. We should have known they were coming because there was nobody on their damn payload. Yeah, we've probably lost this one. We've probably lost this one. I did snipe her out of the air. You guys can try to stop them. I'll stay on the payload. Ah, yeah, we lost. Ah. Uh, the enemy team fulfilled its objectives first. Yeah. You are defeated. Repeat. You are defeated. I got some kills with Nimbus, but I kind of want to play Nimbus again, though. I did like that end game PVP with their little little guns there. Totaled ally health repaired. Well, at least that was the best healer. At least that was the best healer in the game. Crafter module? What's the crafter module? Ooh, I got a Nimbus module, though. Wait a minute. Let me see what that does. That actually might be pretty good. We got lost data, Sandy's memory core. We got two lost datas. So we can progress the story past 69%. Or 
First, let's look at this, though. Slightly increases critical hit damages. Honestly, I'll take that. Upgraded a few times. That actually seems kind of good. Recovery module. Let's actually give... The durability. Actually... How good's my ult on this character? I'll take durability. And then reload, maybe. Get that reload timer down. Hey, Lane, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. All right, let's continue the story now. Sandy's memory core. Listen up. <laughs> yes, I knew it. I knew I had it somewhere. Of course, he found Ace. it. Ace, look, look, this, this is what Sandy's memory core looks like. Okay, okay, this is what you need to find. Alders. Oh, I need to find it. We all miss Sandy, but she's gone, Alders. I'm sorry. She's gone. No, no, no. It's, I mean, not necessarily. Her user interface, her, 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 her personality is designed to be merged with other units. Look, remember how we're supposed to merge Sandy with the HQ network after every mission? Sure, but we never do because it's stupid rule and we keep Sandy our own way. Yes, exactly. Now, that's what's got me thinking. If we can find old Sandy's memory core and bring it back, we might be able to integrate her memory with this new Sandy. Hello. Alders. <laughs> Alders. Hello. There are thousands of Ixo fighters out there. Think about it. How will we find signs and that piece of shit Durban now that they have what they want? No. That's just it, Madge. They don't have what they want. The Golden Goose data on Sandy's core was incomplete. She only had two of the data packets backed up to her core. Signs doesn't have the whole thing. And he doesn't know it yet. They'll be searching, which means we are still one step ahead. We need Sandy's core back. Which means we're probably going to have to fight Durbin to the death. The eyes drip terror, but the hands are still at it. Wait, what, what, what did she say? What does that mean? That, that sounded scary. It means Not yet, Okami. Have to do, I still have to do at home stuff, which is, it's working, but you know, it's definitely not the same. They're making progress though on that gym. There's, they're doing a lot of shit in this building. So the gym is getting close though. It's getting close to being done in this apartment. Three foot long submarine sandwich. This one gives me creeps. Do you know how hard it is to give me the creeps? So how long was the ground able to contain this particular curse? You got free weights? Yeah, I got good enough stuff years. to survive. And how do we come to that number? That black box uses a radioactive isotope cell to power the suit's locator circuit. See these muscles? They're slowly leaving. Has a half-life of 680 years. Any longer than that, and the power cell would have died. Chief, I'm beginning to think maybe you're reading too many spec sheets. Hmm. Much younger than Origin Suit. Have you seen Black Box data? Well, Sandy managed to hack it when Ace got near this chamber during the war game. Right, Sandy? Affirmative. The data was heavily corrupted. More time is required for a complete reconstruction and analysis. We are about to hear the last words of an Exo Fighter. Words that have been lost to time for centuries. An Exo Fighter? Others, this might be the coolest day of your life. What I can't explain is why those greedy bastards never found it. Especially considering the suit's black box has a standard locator beacon. It literally sat there for centuries, signaling its location on the rescue frequency. Anyone up there with a Exactly, keep them guessing what's coming next. That's nice that they have a sheet to request machines, so that's kinda cool. I guess they didn't think to look. Always like it when works at least have gyms. Save money on not uh save money on not having those expensive memberships because gyms are goddamn expensive. I was spending fifty bucks a month at my last gym. I was definitely getting my money's worth because I was using it almost every day. We're sixty nine percent of the way done with the story. Nice. Durban and signs. Those two are. Ma all right, Dino Survival, let's try again. I might try another Nimbus match.
They just got the mail room up and running today. So we got our mail key. And I'm hoping the next time, every time I get like a text on the app, there's like an app that they give us and they like update us through the app. And every time I see like a message pop up on the app, I'm like, please be the gym. And then it's not, it's something about fucking cars or something. They're like, oh, make sure you don't park in this area because we're doing some maintenance on it. Blah, 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 blah. This is the only game mode available, but there's like three or four different game modes inside of Dino Survival. So there's more than just... The, it, it just says Dino Survival, but there's like three or four game modes inside of it that you can do. Five to six days a week, around one hour and a hour and a half each day. So that's pretty good. I'd say that's definitely good. 25 a month. I opened up Twitter and Overwatch 2 is coming to Steam on August 10th with its biggest content drop ever. Let's go Overwatch doing what they need to do. Even though Overwatch League is probably going to die. Dino survival, baby! Five skins for eight hundred dollars. Overwatch is doing its thing. It's coming to Steam Platypus, which means I can uninstall Battle.net. Overwatch League is dying. Maybe, perhaps. We talked about it earlier in stream, and a lot of people were thinking it was gonna die after this season. We'll see. I will say, I did go to an Overwatch of Overwatch League event once in my life in person, and it was kind of cool in person because I understood Overwatch. Greetings. Yeah. We only have three freaking people on our team. I'll go Nimbus. We have a bot. They don't have a bot. They don't have a tank, though, either. Dude, how are we get how do we get a bot on our team? Oh god, I hope every time I get a bot, they play freaking vigilant. We already have a vigilant. Yo, we only got four people. Oh man, I hope you're going tank. He is going tank. Shout out to the space rhino on Steam. Wait, this is a new map. I have never seen this map before. Interdimensional transfer complete. Are we getting a new type of event here? Have a super day. An elevator cable at the center of the structure extends into low orbit. Elevators transport humans as well as light aircraft. An energy pipeline is embedded in the center of the structure. We have a bot Zypher. Preparing combat area. Please wait. An exo fighter with a different mission will be transferred. Wait, we got a story mission. Investigating resources in this area. You will cooperate with the investigation. We're escorting someone? Okay. This is intriguing. Do we have to keep this guy alive as well? Do 
Because I'm the only healer on this team. Is this like a payload race with a dude? Like push mode and overwatch, except poop, everybody gets a dude? Don't worry, everybody. I'm healing. But I have no way to heal myself. Are we doing good? Investigation results are of little value. Ow. I require combat data from exo fighters in a variety of scenarios. Summon a full meal Oh, I was about to heal him. Um. Trying to keep everybody alive. This is also a brand new game mode. We've never played this one. It sucks that we have a bot on our team, but you know, whatever. I guess Exo Primo doesn't have a... Uh enough players doing this mission maybe this is like a a campaign mission Seems like a long mission as well. You ever just have to put on pants? There, that will block the dinosaurs so they can't get in. It did not block dinosaurs like I did, like I thought it would. Leg jail. I sometimes put on jeans just so I could work more because I'm like, jeans. Jeans make me work. Slower. Oh, they're going the other way. Oh no, we're going so slow. We're going so slow, but we have a freaking bot. Don't worry, guys. I'll kill the trigger. The triggered Neosaur. Ow. Ow. 
charge score for a hostility upgrade has been achieved. The enemy team will now face a great Zora The integration complete. The intervention period has ended. The bot almost died. But I also almost died because I got no one to heal me. Well, I'm, right now I'm wearing khakis, I think. Hey, why do we keep fighting these ankylosaurus? There we go. I think we're still going slower. Yeah, of course we are. And I'm doing the worst on my team as the healer. You would think the healer would be doing the best, but I'm doing the worst. In terms of points, I'm doing better than the bot, hopefully, but... Ay, ay, ay. The enemy team has progressed to the final mission. Act quickly to close the performance gap. Yeah. Summoning gas near surface. No! Oh my god, we're all dying. Pants are a sign of weakness? No, they're a sign of people not seeing your crotch, which is fine. You gotta be kidding me. We have to reset the entire mission because everybody died? Oh my god. Yeah, we I don't think we're winning this game. This isn't good. Oh, Jesus. Do your part and generate robust combat data. We don't even get to do P. They're on the second end. Uh, did I ever have the churros from Burrito Boys? Yes, I wasn't the biggest fan of them. Someone take it. I, I don't think I should. I'm the support. I can't remember them, though. I got a lot of churros from a lot of Mexican restaurants. Yo, shout out to the bot for resin me. I have awarded the enemy team a 
dominant. They may invade with a hostile dinosaur. We don't... No one's taking the Dominator. It, what is our team doing? Dinosaur call. Someone has to take this goddamn thing. Maybe we can actually make a comeback here. If we can get a good Dominator. Okay, well, I need to kill everybody. What the fuck? Dude, I can't get up there. I can't get up there. Oh, God, now I can get up there. I can get up there when it doesn't really matter anymore. Alright, well, I stalled them for a little bit. You can be a dinosaur in this game. It's very rare, though. Now my entire team is bots. Besides one person. I have a whole team of bots. Why am I so damn slow? My entire team left me, man. Besides Darken the Dragon. I don't think we're winning this game either. Yeah, we lost. Thank you for the 100 bits, Arlen. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. Well, we killed the Triceratops at least. A forcible subject correction threshold. Are you telling me I'm losing so many games that I suck? You like me. You really like me. Honestly, goddamn. Witch Doctor seems so good. How am I liking this game? I thought about getting it, but the clips I've watched seem kind of repetitive. Personally, I enjoy it. Uh, but I'm the weird one that per that has a good time with it. It takes... Uh, you have to progress the story to unlock more game modes, but even then it's still random if the game modes happen. The most exciting stuff seems to, like, happen, like, ever so, like, pretty rarely. Like, the, the fun game modes that were story progression missions, those seem to happen very rarely, like raids. Where you have, like, everybody trying to fight against some giant dinosaur. Two whites and a blue with my war chest. I don't think it's worth a purchase, though. I will say that. I don't think this game is worth a purchase. I think it's a great free game. Was it you? Come on, Ace. Don't look at me like that. Was it you? You shot the watchers down, didn't you? Well, well whoever it was. I'd like to give them a medal. It damaged their network security. I was able to get past the system's protections and intercept this. It's drone data. The Watchers are constantly transmitting it back to Leviathan. Basically, his eyes and ears. They've been watching the Exo Fighters, but it 
Looks like it's also been recording data from the dinosaurs, too. Correct. There are numerous variables being reported in the data transmissions. Reflex response, fight or flight reactions in each subject, violence index. So the question is, why is the Leviathan suddenly studying dinosaurs? I don't know. Skywave is a fun support. I can confirm that as I have played her a couple, a couple times. Hey, listen to this. I had Sandy search for any what is this? headhunters in the radio transmissions we intercepted during the war games. Stance! It's us! Hold your fire! She's dead, Marquette. We gotta move! She's right there! Whoa, the F bomb. She sounds like a damn zombie. Good Lord. Hmm. Reminds me of bedtime song grandmother would sing. What? Could not sleep. But you know the one. The viper and the suckling pig. <clears throat> ah, Ace, maybe do us all a favor. If you see a headhunter, head quietly in the opposite direction, yeah? Was that all for story progression? Oh, wait, there's more! Why does Leviathan need combat data? And now we have a little tiny cutscene with a fancy screen. theory about these headhunters Send no the spinal column of the exosuit mimics that of the human body it sends autonomic nerve signals to the suit's limbs in survival situations the suit can process reactions to pain and adrenaline spikes that happen too fast for a pilot to react it's reflexive like jerking your hand away from a fire before AGC. you made the decision to move it it's incredible really I i'm trying to get a w as nimbus but Fucking witch doctors just seem so much better. I I feel like I stink at this game because I lose all the time. Alders, we are two pilots and engineer. We know this. Well, then you know the human pilot is the bottleneck. The suit itself is faster than we are. Faster than you, maybe. Well, we all have our little imperfections. The spinal unit was designed to offset those human shortcomings, and we all know. Leviathan uses the data from war games to continually perfect the suits. Do you see? The exosuits those uh, pilots were wearing oh, are me. constantly upgrading themselves to be ready for any Bold. combat situation, whether the pilot inside is ready or not. All these exo fighters sent to die to improve a system that was created to keep them alive. This is major big time psychopath. Or the AI equivalent. It's contrary to the directive. The only way artificial intelligence can go wrong like that is if the input data is biased or wrong. It would only be possible if you mess with data already coded in an AI's root architecture. It's uh, a black box. Probably not platypus. I don't even know when it is. What does that have to do with headhunters, you ask? I am retweeting my own tweet. But I would have. Continue. Because I'm a sucker. If you give an AI like Leviathan the directive, improve our exosuits. It has to complete it. Oh, wait, that's the thing you showed me, isn't it? Takes a hundred tries or a million. All that matters is using whatever data the exosuit... That's the thing you showed me. The suit survival I do want to actually go to that. Is it free to go to? Exosuits in combat. They're acting like humans, protecting each other, trying to stay alive. But if something happened in Leviathan's black box, say someone at Ivy has decided... Human if it's free, I'll probably go. Down ...efficiency and say added new black box data to Leviathan. It would alter exosuits updates. But what kind of data turns exo fighters to headhunters? What has primal killer instincts, lacks the brain development for a complex emotion like empathy, and already contributes to the stream of data that Leviathan is tracking? That maniac machine is using dinosaurs to program exosuits? That's my theory. L listen to this. Re-envision your success. Re-envision your success. 
I'll have to look into it again. This freaking August is coming right up on us. We're already on July 19th. See, the suit accepts the update from Leviathan, then starts fighting like an animal. I think the headhunters are Leviathan's prototypes for the next evolution of the exosuit. But pilots can override suits' combat choices. If you are right, what is keeping pilots... We're getting a lot of story right now. They're already dead. Think about it. Any time an exo fighter dies with their suit intact, Leviathan can slot the new combat instinct data package into the suit spinal column. And voila. Uh, we're like 71% done with the story, I think. You're talking about zombie exo fighters. Zombie dinosaur exo fighters, not to put too fine a point on it. <sighs> Grave robbers. All for the perfect suit. More than that. If Leviathan's doing this to the software, what's it doing to the hardware? What are you making, Grave Robber? I want to get this story done, but Pikmin 4 is coming out soon. Seventy-two percent. Yeah, we got twenty-eight percent more to go to. All right, well, uh, I don't know if we're playing Mario Kart with friends. Uh, Chloe hasn't messaged me, so we will rock a dino survival again. We'll do one more. I have to get some errands done, so we'll do one more. Maybe call it, a sh call it after that. Need to go to the store, and I want to roll a blade. Uh, I'm doing one more, GC. I have to go be an adult. But if you're on tomorrow night, yo, I, I, I might do a big, big, big day tomorrow of... Mario Kaizo, Pikmin Demo, Exo Primal, big day, big day of gaming. If I was continuing, I would want a bud. I would say that. Get on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur. I'm around 7 EST tomorrow. Oh, we can do some late, we can do some late night gaming tomorrow. I don't know how long the Pikmin 4 demo is going to take me, but I'm trying to get this story done by Friday. So then I can shelf this game and be like, yeah, we beat the story. Now I'm just playing it off stream. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to play the Pikmin 4 demo tomorrow and then have the story carry over on the Friday. Actually, I need to fix my capture card. <laughs> I need to fix my damn capture card. My capture card's been acting all wonky. I'm sweaty and I'm bleeding and I smell really bad. We're going to take a shower. For an internal. Welcome to the war game. Trying to heat up this room even more for another you PC. Your allies more than anyone else in the last war game. I did. Show me that supportive spirit in this instance. We lack tank units. If we lack tanks. I could play. I'll play Krieger. I like Krieger. Krieger's cool. They have a Krieger as well. But they also don't have a healer. Maybe this will actually be a win. Is this another new map? Oh, this is the bridge one. You see, we have a game mode that we haven't seen in a while. I think probably the best game mode, to be honest. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a suit there. You will find a hangar in the northmost section of the airport. Mm -hmm. A massive passenger plane is undergoing maintenance inside this hangar. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, it's common to spot swarms of pteranodons assaulting airports. There's other game modes. I had a fun one this morning. I played one game this morning, GC, because I was like, I had 20 minutes to spare. And of course, it's a story progression mission with like a freaking giant fight, like a raid fight. And I was like, of course, I'm not streaming this one time. I should be. Make sure we stay in the zone. Push him out. Summon Sinonithosaurus. Area defense problems. 
50%. I'm impressed that I've gotten like 16 hours out of this game. I was nervous that I was just going to play it like twice and then be like, yeah, this game sucks. And like some would say, some would ask, is this a Capcom, the rare Capcom dud? Because Capcom kind of makes a lot of bangers, but I would not say this is a Capcom dud. The, the only dud about this is that it's not free to play. But the gameplay, not a dud. We're going faster than the enemy by a millisecond. This guy's wearing shorts. And another dud is it takes a while to get more variety in the missions. It, I think it takes like three, two to five hours, we'll say. Two to five, that's a good mix. Stay in the circle up here. Oh, wait, there's two circles. I didn't realize. There's two of them. But overall, the gameplay's good. Someone on YouTube said, hey, would you make an, a more in-depth review now that you've played the game more? And like, talk about the game as a whole. And I was thinking, maybe if once I get everything done, a video could be good. Once everything I have done, and then be like, I 100%ed Exo Primo, so you don't have to. Or something like that. Expanded videos after I played a lot. I think it could be good. My next, the next video I want to make is another game one, but I'll debate if I want to make a trip away upcoming games as well. But I want to make another roguelite video on a game that I think deserves a lot more love. That fighter is investigating resources in this area. You will That's true. I played Exo Primo, so you don't have to. It's like, oh well, he did everything. What do I need to do? It's called Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is a roguelike game that deserves more love. Good old Kingdom Hearts. I guess it could be his Exo Primal app. Is Exo Primal worth it after 30 hours of gameplay or something like that? But I like the idea of giving Exo Primer another vi another video after I played it fully. You know, say going in, I thought this game was gonna suck, and going out, I was right. Oh, it's another escort mission. My honest 30-hour review, Exo Primal 30-hour review, or something like that. block is really good okay yeah i said i sucked at all the tanks but i'm actually kind of good with krieger i feel is exo primal worth the triple a price tag no investigation complete proceed to the next site occasionally exo fighters require a certain level of is Exo Primal worth the AAA price tag? Well, I played the entire game, got the story done, got every achievement done, played the game a lot, and I'm here to answer that question. No. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You may begin the investigation. Summoning a Triceratops. GC, do you want to hear my idea for a joke review? I basically review a game, but every time there's the section of me standing up in front of like a wall and talking to the mic, I'm just rollerblading. And I never acknowledge that I'm rollerblading. I'm just rollerblading. And then like when it back to, it's back to gameplay, it's just back to normal.
We're going faster than them. That's good. Warning. You will now commence the final mission. I would love that. Yeah, that rollerblade sponsorship. Let me make sure Chloe still hasn't DM'd me. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Oh, might be time for... Oh, we might actually win one. Our Forgotty drive through reviews. The game that I want to make a video on... I'll tell you, I'll tell y'all in Twitch chat because I think my Twitch audience and YouTube audience is like completely different. Like you guys watch my Twitch, my YouTube videos, but like... When I make a YouTube video, it's to attract people that don't watch me on Twitch. And I want to make a video on Oblivion Overdrive because I think that game is actually really good and it's getting slept on. Which is why I'm trying to play it more off stream. Take this! I feel like I feel like Krieger's ult is not that good in the PvP scenario. You don't know what that even is? Exactly. It's kind of like the gameplay is kind of like Dead Cells. Action platform and roguelike uh, with some hard bosses. But a good amount to unlock as well. I just realized today when I was playing, I had 600 currency to unlock, like, via meta progression stuff. And now I'm like, oh my god, how did I miss that? Bro, what is going on? We're on the offensive. Where's their dominator? They said that I the, the game said they used their dominator. Was that a lie? Did I just miss it? Well, we progressed sixty percent, baby. Oh, our Dominator's going in. Uh-oh. Do they have a sniper on their team? I feel like the sniper's good on this map. Also, the new video's almost at a thousand views already, so uh, thanks for everyone that watched it. Uh, which is kind of insane, considering I just uploaded it less than 12 hours ago. It was uploaded like nine hours ago, and it's almost at a thousand views. It's insane, these videos, I'm thinking, like, they're new videos that I usually wouldn't make. I usually just make a video on a roguelike game, and I was like, let's do indie games. And then, like, even Exo Primal, the, that review style, I'm still trying to get better at. But that review style, they're doing good. He's seriously getting healed right now. What just happened? Did he just kill all of us? He watched like 30 minutes ago. Thanks for watching it. Barrage is such a powerful fucking ultimate. And thank you, one, two. Barrage is such a powerful ultimate. Oh my god, we spawned so far away. The other famous creators and we'll just be plebs? Uh, I don't view it that way at all. 
I don't view myself becoming famous. Did my ultimate do anything? Oh, we're ahead now. We got the ultimate advantage. Nice. Data key transfer preparation. 60% complete. Aerial transfer. Don't worry. I feel like if I'm the, if I get like hundreds of thousands of subs on YouTube, I don't think it's going to be like thousands of viewers on Twitch. It'll be like a couple hundred maybe. You know, we just we make YouTube videos. We make Twitch streams. We have a good time. We hang out. We're all friends. A parasocial friends parasocial parries like that new parasocial emote we won which is good we won the guy ran dude that lost 5,000 damage dealt 10,000 damage the largest dinosaurs 95,000 score I score 79,000, level 46. Uh, next. At 2,000 Bitcoins, Krieger, I got... Ooh, Sturdy Dome. Wait, before we end this little Let's Play video, let's go see what the Sturdy Dome is like. Got 6,000 Bitcoins. Let me see what this dome is like. Level 12, I get the yellow one. So I'd have to replace Electro Missile for Sturdy Dome. Cooldown time increases by 4 seconds, but increases the durability by 200. Ah, fine, I'll do it. I'll upgrade it 4 times as well. Grants a 50% chance to reacquire craft chips when a craft is destroyed. Oh, oh, I know what that is. That's actually kind of good. That's kind of good with the, uh, the, the, the turrets that you get. Well, YouTube, like and subscribe. Exo Primal's going well.